Recently, my husband and I went on a walk at Walla Monopog Conservation Area in Rentham, Massachusetts. We came here to look for frogs. We ended up finding some pickerel frogs and green frogs. While we were there, I looked down and I thought at first I saw a lobster and then I realized that it was a red crayfish. I had never seen this species before, so I came home and did some research on them. Red Swamp Crayfish has many nicknames. Red Swamp Crawfish, Louisiana Crayfish, Louisiana Crawfish, Crawdads, and mud bugs. They are non-native in my area. They are an introduced species. They are native to South Central United States to Northern Mexico. They have established populations throughout the United States. They have been introduced by aquarium trade, classroom and laboratory release, and live bait dumping. Their size is 2 to 5 inches, dark red color with bright red raised bumps. They do look like a small lobster. They have long narrow claws and bony ectoskeleton. Elongated head with triangle shaped rostrums. The rostrums is a pointed projection of the carapace, which is the hard upper shell, which aids in the protection of its compound eyes. The juveniles are not red and are difficult to distinguish from the other crayfish. Red swamp crayfish are more aggressive than the native crayfish and they can outcompete for food and space. They can reduce biodiversity, causing erosion and interfere with the natural infrastructure, causing them to be a threat to the freshwater ecosystem. They are freshwater crustaceans, which is an animal with a hard shell, ectoskeleton, several pairs of jointed legs, three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. Usually lives in the water. They breathe through feather-like gills. They burrow deep into the substrate of their habitat, creating large mounds of sand and soil called chimneys with a large center hole. Their diet, they feed heavily on snails, fish, amphibians, and plants. They are highly aggressive to the native crayfish. They have powerful pincers and can deliver a nasty pinch equal to 25 to 45 pounds of pressure. Control methods. Intense harvesting will not eradicate eradicate the crayfish. The best control is to prevent the introduction of the crayfish by educating anglers, crayfish trappers, bait dealers, and teachers about the threats they pose to the environment. Doing so will reduce the risk of spreading the species to new areas. Prevention steps. Remove aquatic plants, animals, and mud from your boat and equipment before leaving the launch area. Spray and rinse your boat and equipment with the high power water. Crayfish are edible and are considered a delicacy. It's really sad to hear how these are taking over and harming our local crayfish. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. See you next time.